Liquid's foolish in the sand Redefined for his plan It's time to be a man, be a man you know, when I was coming up, one of the most influential things in my life was music. And I paid a lot of attention to what lyrics people were saying, and, and I really kind of built what manhood was for me at that time in my life based on the lyrics that I heard. I want to ask you a question. What are you allowing yourself to hear that is kind of shaping the way that you think of manhood? Is it social media? Are you watching World Star Hip Hop or some type of television program that is telling you that this is what masculinity is all about? Psalms 1-1 says that we shouldn't sit in the council of the wicked or, or of scoffers, of those who would kind of speak against what God says is right. And, and through their scoffing, they begin to say that, no, no, it's actually the other way around. It's so important for you to guard what you're listening to and who has your ear. And it's not always the audible sounds of, of music, per se, that can have influence. It's when you're on those social media platforms and you're seeing those pictures and, and what some of those messages are saying to you. What about when you're, you're reading text messages and, and friends are telling you certain jokes or they're expressing to you what they think manhood is all about. We have to be careful that we're not allowing those who are outside of the faith to have the undue influence on us and painting the picture of what manhood is all about. We really gotta give ourselves to God and hear what he is saying. And those men that he entrusts us to be around, those who, would, who we could look at as mentors that have, are further along in the faith, allowing them to have a voice so that they can speak some wisdom into our lives. So I challenge you, take notice of what you're listening to, what kind of music you're listening to, what kind of influences that you have there. And if you're finding that some of this stuff is wicked, that you be a man and get it out of your life.